When I was a teenager, uh, cycling meant freedom. I see three person, four person, they occupied the whole road. Because of Audrey, <laughs> we'll forgive her, she <laughs> gave you inspiration. Inspiration. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of SG Now. Welcome to our coffee shop. I'm Shada Harrison. Always good to be in the studio with you. And today in the studio, we have Siti Joe Carson. Hello, Shada. Hi, Carson. Hi. You know what I really love about you? Like, I watch you go off and interview other people. You're such a big heart. You're always so genuine. Yeah, I always just want to know what other people are thinking. I can tell, yeah. and I really yeah. enjoy that. Yeah. Anyway, also in our studio today, we have two lovely guests. We have with us Audrey Chua. Hi, Shada. Nice to meet you. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. That's so good. Yeah. I love that energy. <laughs> and we have Javen Lim. Uh, good afternoon, Shada. Afternoon. I understand that you run a cleaning company. Yes. Just some startup a few months ago. Oh, fantastic, yeah. fantastic. Very nice. Okay, well, today we're going to talk about cycling, right? But we're not just going to talk mm -hmm. about cycling as a hobby. We're going to talk about cycling as a way of life, which I'm very interested in because I don't cycle at all. So I'm very interested to hear what, you know, all three of you have to say about cycling. But before that, we're going to watch a short video about cycling with our City Joe Carson. So check it out. Cycling has become very popular in Singapore. Many citizens and residents have found it beneficial to cycle for their physical, mental and emotional health. For me, cycling first represented freedom. Since then, it's become more meaningful. Recently, I met with someone who participated in a cycling event. Break the Cycle was founded in 2020 to involve the larger community in Singapore to befriend and support ex-offenders to achieve positive life goals. I joined Javen Lim, an ex-offender, on his journey with Break the Cycle. He shares with me his fresh understanding of what friendship is about. And we, I'm joining because of the Break the Cycle give me a very deep meaning that is is to break my own cycle. Mm -hmm. I'm weak at time, but uh, that we, where we have a group of uh, friends, the cycling khaki, uh, it's like your brother will not leave you behind. Yeah. Always, uh, I mean, encouraging me to, I mean, to step forward, to break my own cycle, to get a level up, to let ourselves be more confident in the society. Mm -hmm. But he's always there to, I mean, to really, I mean, taking care of me. Mm -hmm guide me and teach me along the way. That's it. For many cyclists, riding takes a deeper significance. Javen was one example. I have met many other individuals who hold their own fascinating stories about cycling. To me, no matter what your reason to cycle, remember to stay alive. Well, thank you for that clip. So, Cycling, how interesting. Let's, let's, let's go around the table, right? Um, we'll start off with, with maybe Javen first, right? What, what does cycling like, mean to you? Or why do you, rather, why do you cycle? Last time I was not, not really, I mean, cycling until during CB. I saw, I mean, in a Facebook that mentioned this uh, break the cycle. I saw my friend, Andrew Wong. Uh, he was in a he was a committee and he's a considered a founder also. Mm -hmm. So I saw the way that he picked up himself to share life and share cycling also. Mm -hmm. It really I mean uh, stirring me. So I did call up on him. Then I because they are riding a road bike, so I actually it's not really meant for me. Mm -hmm. uh, but by picking up. Day by day, I mean, learning, I mean, in a very short hour, maybe one to two hours sometime. And mm. to give some context, so Break the Cycle, what is that exactly about? Break the Cycle is that uh, we are not just, I mean, uh, riding a bicycle. We are, I mean, helping some befriend with the ex convict who, I mean, coming out from a prison or halfway house or whatever association. We're helping them to reintegrate into the society. And we, I mean, we also, I mean, uh, helping them to, to train them, to mm -hmm. teach them, I mean, the road antique. 
uh, even the bike, we can also, I mean, uh, able to, I mean, sponsor in a very different, I mean, uh, humble, humble bike. Cycling in the last 10 years, right? I mean, 10 years ago, I remember Singaporeans were complaining, cannot cycle on the street, not <laughs> enough place, where do I cycle? Yeah. But recently, well, I guess it's crept up in the last 10 years, cycling's become a really big culture in Singapore. So like, Audrey, why do you cycle? How did you get into it? Five years old, <laughs> I did start cycling. Wow. Okay, after that, it became a mode of transportation. A okay. more a transport. Okay, that's not what a lot of us are used to because yes. we got train and bus. Yes, that's <laughs> right. Uh, earlier days when uh, transportation is not not so good, so it is one of the option we can use. And then, like Carlson said, it's a freedom, right? You ride on hook, hop onto the bicycle. You can go anywhere you wanted to go. Then after that, because the work caught up, I stopped for a while until I we. I met up with Carson again, and then we come into this group called what F O W? F O W. Yeah. What's that stand for? Fellowship on Wheels. <gasps> so nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no when did you start group. this Fellowship on Wheels? Basically, uh, it, it's an old school alumni group, oh, right? So we all decided nice. that uh, we'll, we'll all come together and and let's have fellowship uh, while cycling. Well, how far do you cycle normally? Uh, well, it, it's a big group in the chat group, but uh, every time we cycle, we'll, we'll have different distances. Yeah, and then we will have to say, okay, th uh, this group uh, we're gonna do a, uh, you know, the the big bicycles, so you can expect them to go 25, 30 kilometers an hour, you know, and then you have the slow group which I belong to, you know, uh, 15 kilometers, <laughs> like you know, uh, like a stroll in the park kind of pace. Yeah. So, um, wow. yeah, but we'll have to declare your, your, your ability before you go. Otherwise, there'll be people waiting for you for a long time. What does cycling mean to all of you? Like, it must mean something quite special, right? Perseverance, because especially when you cycle and uphill, do I come down and push it? Or I really have to put in my effort and uh, overcome the hurdles to get into the top point and come down? That is a... Wow. Fantastic achievement once you can get up the slope and calm down and you feel so like accomplish something in life. Yeah. Uh, that is how we build up the momentum. Mm. So to me, that is one area. The other area is a lot of time like fellowship because when we go out, it's a fellowship. As at the same time, it's a fellowship on food as well. When I was a teenager, uh, cycling meant freedom. Right, so uh, I would go at uh, incredible speeds, even on my very small chopper. <laughs> you remember <laughs> chopper, the that bicycle? Yeah. No, I don't. The, the, <laughs> the one with the bigger <laughs> wheel at the back and the smaller wheel in front. All right. I so, see. Yeah, it would be an antique by now. Right. But um, yeah, it represented freedom, mm. and uh, I remember uh, I used to use my bicycle to to deliver my Christmas presents. Right. Oh. And uh, yeah, it, it was it's fun. Great. It was fun. And I think one of the reasons is uh, if it's a girl that I'm giving a present to, I will ring the doorbell and if it's the father coming out, I'll just cycle off really <laughs> quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah. back then, the boys would cycle to the girls to give presents. That's it, yeah. Right now, it's just dating apps yeah. mm -hmm. and emojis. <laughs> yes. Right, right. <sighs> yeah. I so, like this so, story better. So, um, uh, for me, for me, cycling uh, represented relationships also. I think that if a person knows that you went from Serangoon Gardens to Queenstown to give a small little present, it, it, uh, you, you get into some conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From, uh, from the... From the below to the top. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, saying that I mean, people like me, from below, and to the, I mean, my committee also have a doctor, that's lawyer, and also some civil servant, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's business, uh, businessman also. So this uh, uh, this committee for me, I just find that mm, it's some kind of befriend for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's but a community. Oh, when you say low to top <laughs> and top low, okay, I don't believe in all of that. But you know, everybody is the same on the bike, right? Yeah, really. Yes, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, we, I mean, equality. Exactly. And leave no man behind. Cycling has more than doubled in popularity in Singapore. 
which is incredible. One in four Singapore households own bicycles. This was uh, from mm. 2018. 125,000 Singaporeans use bicycles in their daily commute, like you said, <laughs> Audrey, um, from 2018. So tell me, what are some of the positives about cycling? For one, uh, it gives me good exercise. Uh, that's when I go cycling. Uh, for me, at present, uh, it represents a relationship with my son. Right? <gasps> he loves cycling and uh, I don't do mm. cycling myself so much anymore. It's like, it gets really boring and lonely. Mm. You know? So I was uh, really delighted when he, he says he wants to go cycling. So I got him a bike and now, nowadays we go cycling together. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's really a joy to do that. Yeah, so once again, cycling represents relationship for me. Oh, yes. how old is your son? My son is in primary five. Oh, yeah. that's so <laughs> nice. Audrey, what about you? What are some positives about cycling? For me, it gives me the opportunity to go out together with my husband. Mm. Okay, so that is the only t uh, opportunity that we can really go cycle and really enjoy the scenery, and yeah. taking photos. It's no longer like last time we are crazy, 30 kilometers, 70 <laughs> kilometers, uh -huh. and we could zoom into zoo and come back and all these kind of uh, activities we used to do. But now is that we focus only twice a week and we really is uh, enjoying the scenery. So as we go along, we like this place, we just stop and take photos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Since you've been cycling for such a long amount of time, mm -hmm. you would know whether things perhaps have gotten better for cyclists in Singapore? Definitely, because when we first started, I remember with FOW, the park connector we used, no doubt it wasn't uh, crowded, but it's still a lot of muddy road, mm. and it's very difficult. Some, and by the time we cycle there, especially after raining, you have to wash the bicycle, you get very frustrated Ooh, about that. Yeah. Right, yeah. Then now it's so much better, it's yeah. everything is quite connected. Mm -hmm. However, we have a lot of, we have to share the path with the pedestrian. So oh. these are some of the challenges we, we face. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, things have improved mm -hmm. many folks. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that pedestrians are knowledgeable in cycling culture or, you know, ethics, what you should do? Because I, I, my mom cycles and I always hear her going like, get off, get in the right path. Yeah, you're coming in my way. <laughs> 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 Is that something that happens? Yes, uh, <laughs> especially when you share path at a park connector, uh, park connector right? Because we, as a cyclist, we wanted to cycle in certain speed. Mm. Mm. However, we come to all these pedestrians, right? Even though <laughs> they're supposed to stay on their path, they, they just jump out. It's just very dangerous, especially yeah. children. Even with, you know, break the cycle, mm. you're on the roads, yeah. right? Which is great as a positive experience. But how <laughs> safe did you feel being on our Singapore roads? There's a timing, they say, like, I mean, the peak hour, we don't ride. We normally, if they say we ride in the evening, we'll go by 9 p.m. start. Then we'll ride on the Changi area. Is that because it's slower traffic around 9 yeah, p.m.? Yeah. Okay. It's less traffic, then uh, uh, it's much better. I just find that it's a uh, unity. Mm. I find that my, my team is great. Mm. Very nice. I mean, unity and uh, we, we help each other. <laughs> the worst experience is that uh, I can't tolerate, I mean, other bikey just I mean rode very fast and just cut up off and they don't give us a, a, a just a seat now. Mm. It's very dangerous. Yeah. Kasa, what and Audrey, what about you? What are some of the most negative experiences you've ever had with bicycling? If we are travelling on park connector, I see a lot of parents. They should have guide their their youngsters how to to follow some rules. Because the parents sometimes just let let them do whatever they want, they are mm. on the phone. Mm. So that is a challenge we face. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so Carson then, mm. you as a parent, do you teach your son about, you know, cycling culture, road safety? Yes, so um, basically, you know, when we, uh, when we go cycling together, the reminder is always have a lot of fun, but stay alive. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Yes, yes. Stay alive meaning uh, you look out for yourself, you have to look out for uh, possible uh, 
um, pitfalls, mm -hmm. you know, uh, people cutting your path and all that. And um, you, you, you have, nowadays it, it's not uh, like when I used to cycle, there weren't so many bicycles. Mm. So now if you go to the park connector, it will be, be extremely crowded <laughs> also, right? Very so, crowded. So uh, yeah, you can cycle at a certain speed and you like it or not, people will be passing you very closely. How honestly. do you think we can improve the culture in Singapore? Would education be something? Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, when we go cycling, uh, it, it's you, you shouldn't treat the PCN as a racing circuit. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's not like uh, I have to get to Changi Point within 45 minutes. Yeah. Because if you have that attitude, then you will shut everything else off. And yeah. that's actually very dangerous. You don't actually see kids. You don't see other bicycles. You don't see the lorry. Yeah. You just want to go. Tunnel, you have tunnel vision. Mm, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I, I don't feel that we are really having a, a, a circuit like that, mm. you know, a racing track. I would say that when we go out cycling, um, go, you sh we should be looking out for each other. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I, re I remember when I was cycling uh, uh, many years ago, I actually, I wasn't really speeding. I was just going down the track. And then there is this kid who came on a tricycle just right in front of me <gasps> and I did some acrobatic jump <coughs> out of my bike you know <laughs> and the first time I, 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 I hit myself into a tree <gasps> in East Coast Park you know and then uh, I, I saw the mum and I said well, what are you doing and the mum was still on the phone okay okay yeah. wow and didn't even bother to scold me didn't even yeah. bother to scold the kid yeah. you know so uh, yeah but I, I guess uh, from then on, mm -hmm. I'm actually very alert, you yeah. know, to say as long as there's a kid somewhere in front, yeah. I will slow down yeah. and uh, just in case he, he, he does something yeah. silly like... What was like your motto again? Stay... Stay alive. Stay alive. <laughs> stay alive. Just stay alive. Stay alive. Just yes. stay alive, <laughs> ah. Yes. Stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Audrey, what, how do you think we can improve um, cycling culture in Singapore? To me, I believe there is a lot of work need to be put in place. Education definitely is very important, especially you see those kids, when they go and learn cycling, uh, they are given proper mm. guidance. Mm. Does a parent tell them that what you need to keep to which side of the road yeah. and what do you need to do? So all these need to start from beginning mm. because yeah. that if you look at how Carlson you guide your son, definitely you are a good cycli uh, cyc uh, by, uh, cycle cyclist so you should be able to t tell your son what to do what yeah. if those just recreation mm. right they just don't really follow right and if those who go onto the road i believe we do have the uh, rules put yeah. in place that maybe single person or two person yeah. i see three person four person they occupy the whole <laughs> road so these are all uh, uh, education Secondly, the only thing is policing, mm. especially on the road. If you see lately, so many accidents happen. I believe it's those people go against the road. But let's move on to you know, the pursuit of cycling for a meaningful life. Because going back to that, it seems like the three of you have found um, a crux, like a, um, you found a heart connection to cycling, which is lovely. So, Javen, let's start with you. I mean, how does cycling affect your outlook on life? After joining this cycling, I just find that I'm more, mm, more, more concentrated on what I'm doing. Wow. But this time around, it's much better with a group of friends. Mm -hmm. uh, we go together. So also, it's not just about the act of cycling, it's about yeah. the community that the you're community, cycling with, yeah. right? Would you agree, Kassin? What about you? What are your views and outlook of life since you started cycling? For me, uh, cycling now, <laughs> if I do go out alone, uh, represents mm. uh, uh, nature. You know, mm. I like to go out and just before sunrise and uh, snap some nice uh, pictures yeah. of uh, the sunrise and, uh, you know, as, as the colour of the sky changes. And yeah. You, you kind of, to me, that's, that's the way God speaks to me. Mm, that's yeah, nice. You know, yeah. and, and I, I, I say my prayers and I, I, I get reassured and I'm ready for the day. Mm. You know, I'm ready for the week. When you can cycle, you can see more things. Just imagine you walk. How far can you walk in one, side, one, uh, one hour? 
if you can cycle in one hour, you cover distances, you see more things, especially right now, my focus is more on to taking photos, yeah. find nice scenery, yeah. or maybe yeah. along the way, find nice food. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is what I think cycling, uh, I definitely love to encourage people to take it. Mm -hmm. But learn the right, uh, the safety measure first. Right. Okay. Yes. Talking about the model cyclist, you mm -hmm. know, when we first met in the fellowship, I met her on the first day, I remember, when we were cycling. So we hit this hill, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, better, you know, go up as fast as I can. And then this lady overtakes me uphill and goes, come on, you can do it. Aww. And then she disappeared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, nice. I discovered her name was Audrey. There you go, and yeah. here we are today. Oh, wow. Here we are today, yes. <laughs> so, all, all forgiven. So because of Audrey, we are forgiven. She <laughs> gave you inspiration. <laughs> inspiration. <Yeah>. Oh. <laughs> you cycle quite long stretches at time, right? I mean, would you mm. recommend people to do, I mean, to cycle, especially the way you cycle? Is uh, it for everyone? Yeah, I'm, I find that I mean, uh, it's a very good sport for every individual also. Although it's uh, just cycling, but they have their own preference. But definitely, I mean, we'll welcome the, I mean, to know more about us. If they want to join, or want to inquire, or want to learn something new. Uh, because our cycling group also have a coach. We got coach, uh, we got a uh, sponsorship also. We have uh, those, uh, I mean, uh, bicycle repair, everything. It's uh, all, those, I mean, below market price. Yeah. Yeah. So we, in a way that, I mean, hoping that so more to come. Before we say goodbye, we're going to talk about fish. Now, if you're into ornamental fish, or if you'd like to find out more, you have to check out Blue Crystal Aquarium. Now, Blue Crystal has a great selection of fish, of which have been specially bred and have won prizes at international competitions. They also stock a wide range of aquatic supplies to meet your everyday needs and provide after sales and aftercare services. Visit Blue Crystal at 1120 Sarangoon Road, or you can head on over to their Facebook and Shopee pages. Thank you, Blue Crystal Aquarium, for sponsoring today's episode of SG Now. Well, to wrap up our session today, I mean, I've really learned so much about cycling, but not just as, you know, like as we said, as a hobby, I'm understanding, you know, the culture behind it, mm. why you do it, your passion, and the communities that form because of cycling, yep. as well as the relationship to nature and, of course, our Singapore. So I have never really considered cycling but after today's chat <laughs> I think I might just start with a good bike that's not too expensive <laughs> that's not trending and start with the park connectors and remember to stay alive and stay alert <laughs> <laughs> see I think I've, I've passed the test right I've, I've got everything down <laughs> so anyway thank you so much if you've enjoyed this video please please share your thoughts with us in the comment section and also if you really like the conversation Conversation we've had don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel hit the bell for notifications we also have information on our city joe nfts in the video description and we'll see you again for the next inspiring conversation next week bye bye